my friends. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. Today's question. What mental shift occurs for you between living at the top of your goal weight range and bottom? How are you living differently day in and day out to be at opposite ends of your range spectrum? Are the mental, physical, daily action plans that might are, are they much different? How and why? So basically, I am to share a bit of what I notice about my shifts, my fluctuations. Uh, how is it different? Well, when I, I've really never gotten to the lowest that I want to be, but the lowest I've ever been is 150. Uh, 147 really, but between 147 and 150 is, has been my lowest. I stay now between 175, 180. I like the 70s. They make me happy for now. Uh, I would love to see 150 again and basically stay there. I always said I wanted to stay at 130, but as I age, I think 150 is where I need to be. Uh, I don't like to be in the high part of my weight, right? Because it, I notice my clothes getting tight. It's never been for me, how can I explain this? It's never been, I've always wanted, I've wished to be uh, thinner, you know, like very thin and not so, not so curvaceous. But you know what? I really believe that whatever we have, we don't want. Like I have two daughters. One has curly hair, one has uh, straight hair. The straight hair girl always wants to get her hair curly. And the curly girl always wants to get her hair straightened. <laughs> Crazy. I have a curvaceous body. And I always, always find friends that tell me, I wish I had your booty girl. I wish I had your breast girl. Whatever. I wish I had your curvaceous body. So, in that aspect, you know, I wrote a few things down. Uh, in that aspect, I'm, I, I'm kind of, you know, it's ridiculous to always want what you don't have. It's ridiculous. But this is what I want to say. As far as the weight fluctuating and how I feel, because this, remember, I'm answering the question. I don't know about how anybody else feels other than myself. When my weight fluctuates and I feel like I'm going in a spiral and I don't want to go up any higher, I work at it. I work hard. And I know that I'm not going to get to skinny mini. And there was a time where I thought that that was wrong. Why can't I get there? Why can't I be like so-and-so that got to skinny? And look at her legs. I'm always comparing legs because, you know... That's my issue, my, my, my lower half. I'm always comparing other people, you know, and I say that's wrong and you shouldn't do that, right? And it is. You should not have to do that. But it's always in the back of your mind, right? It's always like, I'm never going to get there. But what seems impossible is that the impossible can be possible. It can be. I have reached to smaller. I keep saying, I want to get smaller. I want to get smaller. I did get smaller. <laughs> I'll show you a picture. I found some pictures here at Connie's. And it wows me. And I, I want to just mm, 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 smack myself sometimes. Rosemary, oh my goodness, what are you talking about, girlfriend? No, you didn't get to skinny. Doesn't have, it's not about you getting to skinny, but you did get smaller. You sure did. I am more than what I see. A lot of times, we are so much more than what we see in, in, on the scale or, or a reflection of us. You know, I used to think, I have nothing to say. 
this brain of mine is always like, I, I just never had, I thought I never had anything to say. Where was I wrong? <laughs> um, and it is always, it always seems impossible until it gets done. You know, I always think, I always think it's so hard, you know, what I do. But not until I get my tennies on and out the door and I've got it done, I realize it was not impossible. I just had to get my tennies on and do it. I just had to get the physical done. Uh, be nice to yourself. It's hard to be happy when someone's mean to you all of the time. Think about it, guys. If you're not nice to yourself, you know, you got to find the good in you. Not on the scale, not, not uh, uh, what your brain sometimes t tells you. Because, you know, my brain sometimes says, look at you. You never, you never lost that, that lower body weight. Look at you. You need to work harder, harder, harder. And yes, I need to improve the body. I don't want to just stay not mobile. I want to stay healthy for a long, long time, God willing. That's what I want. I want to stay healthy. But I don't think you're ever going to see a skinny rosemary. I don't think you'll ever see a rosemary without a heavier bottom. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Because that's me. That's my structure. And that might be your structure. So I hope I'm helping somebody with this question. Um, and you know, we have to think like this. This scale can only give you a number reflection. Relationship with gravity, not a relationship with you. That's it. It cannot measure your beauty, talent, purpose, life force, possibility, strength, or love. And I know you guys have seen this quote many, many times. And, but you got to think about each little thing. It's not going to tell you how beautiful you are on the inside and outside. It's not going to tell you how talented you are. It's not going to give you your purpose and life force or possibilities to do so much. All the things that you can do now and the strength or love that you have to share with people. You know, I want to give back so much and I receive so much by being nice to me, you know? We can be so ugly to ourselves, and I am so tired of doing that to myself, and I do it a lot. I used to do it even more before, you know? I take pictures, and I critique myself, and then I see other people saying, you know, you girls are amazing because I'm always adding my sister to the mix. Because I am her strength, she's my strength. And we and together we give ourselves that strength. Well, that's what you do. You know? Together we can do this. Together it's a possibility. It's more than a possibility. You know? And we're all a work in progress. And Weight is going to fluctuate. Am I happy when it's up? No. That's why I work really hard in, in doing something about it. Uh, you know, one time I had a friend that said uh, she didn't want to talk about weight anymore. And I, I totally respect that. I understand that because we're not all about weight. But for me, in my case, It has been a beautiful thing. And sometimes I want to shout it out to the world. Look at me. Look at what I can do today. What I couldn't do 10 years ago. You know? And we have to respect that for each other. And we have to believe that, you know, sometimes we can get off the track. But we can get right back on the track. How many of us have gotten off the track and feel like, 
we're never going to be able to get on that track again. Remember, there is a possibility. There's always that possibility that we can get off that track. But we also need to have that possibility and believe that we can get back on the track. You know, a lot of us that are working towards that have to believe that, you know, this is a life change. And sometimes we do, we do run off that track, but we can get right back on that track. That's what it's about, you know. That's what all these videos are about, about us encouraging each other, you know. We're not always going to be steady. There is going to be fluctuations. It is going to happen. We have to believe that everything that we've learned on our journey, all it is, is starting all over again, retraining this body to do what it did at the beginning, and... Uh, It'll happen. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Again, go out and be the best you that you know how to be. And forget about the rest. Go out and have fun. Live your life to the fullest, my friends. I am. Bye. See you next Sunday.